Let's talk about Ponies at the Pike. One of the biggest shows that all the Mustang guys look forward to. I had a lot of fun this year. <laughs> oh wait, when there wasn't one, never mind. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> it took me a second. Did you, like, did you get what? it? I was like, wait, I was what? Like, what happened? Oh. <laughs> Oh, who's a slow one now, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty slow. So, Ponies at the Pike, for those who don't know, is essentially one of the biggest, highest caliber, because of venue, Mustang and Ford owner-specific car shows here in Southern California, specifically here in LA. Um, and now, do you think it now? Do you think it's bigger than Fabulous Ford? Not bigger. I would say Mustang-wise, it is bigger. But this is actually but, a car show. No, it's the I think biggest. It's what you said, the venue. The yeah. venue is the yeah. core, yeah. which is <coughs> that you don't always get to do. You don't always get to see. You and another see thing, it. the cars are judged yeah. by yeah. The, the community. Yeah. By, by the, the community. Yeah. So, so I don't think it's 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 obviously not on a number base on paper bigger than Fabulous Fords. But it is, I, in my opinion, a more elite show, a more higher caliber, higher quality show, mostly because of the venue that it takes place at. It is a gorgeous venue, uh, beautiful lighthouse in the middle of like a, a wonderful spiral, like concrete trail, right in between the like the bay. You know, it's, it's Queen Mary, yeah, everything's there. In the background, beautiful. it's beautiful, it's beautiful absolutely venue. beautiful in Long Beach. Um, so recently, you know, their show was scheduled to happen October the 13th, 14th, yeah, 14th. 14th, and due to some rain the night before, the show was postponed, okay? Now, I think for the most part, we all agree that postponing the show because of rain was probably a good idea simply because we park on grass. Yep. Yep. And so getting the cars to park on the grass, it's slippery. Yep. Which we had issues years prior. Like two years ago, remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and like, not even no rain involved, just, you know, just dew. wet grass. Yeah. You know? Morning dew, yeah. yeah. So we all agree that postponing it was the good move, the smart move. However, I think that how the entire situation about the show getting postponed, how that news came about, and even the confirmation, and, and even the events after the confirmation, the correspondence from the organization that puts on the show, it's been handled terribly. And I think that we can also agree on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes and no. Yes and no. So yeah. this is where her and I are kind of on divided sides of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. uh, we we did argue about it in terms of, you know, she feels for the organization. I feel for <coughs> the individuals. That doesn't mean she doesn't feel for the individuals, nor does that mean I don't feel for the organization. It just means that, you know, we, she sees it from the organization's perspective, whereas I feel bad for the individuals who didn't get their show. Um, you want to go ahead and talk a little bit about that? Sure. Hi, my name is Martin. No. So, I've put on big trade show events before. I've been through that process, so I understand where they're at right now. I think, so one of the big things that I saw online is that everybody's asking for a refund, especially the out-of-state people, which the reason, this is the reason why I say you're not going to get a refund or you need to hold off for a little bit. When they went and got the venue because it is publicly owned by the city, or pu it's public property but it's owned by the city, um, you have to pay for permits. Whether that's like eight different permits or whatever, it's expensive. When I went online to go look at how much that venue costs for a day, I was seeing it between fifteen and $30,000 for the day. Um, on top of that, you also have to pay for security. You have to pay for uh, the city coming picking up trash. Um, there's a ton of different stuff that they have to do so because it rained and they decided to postpone the event unfortunately the city can go well you postponed it so either you have to pay another 30,000 or for however much it is or they may allow him to move the date or or give him a partial refund that sort of thing so as of right now he I and I can't confirm this, I just know how this stuff works, so it's out of his hands right now. He has to go through the permitting stage again. So that's probably why he hasn't offered any refunds or anything to that extent, because if he did and everyone backed out, he's going to be out potentially between fifteen and $30,000. Which I don't think he's going to be out any money. Because this is something that they've been doing every year. Yeah, of course. So I, I think they're going to allow him to just go ahead and postpone the event. You know, no money out of pocket. Obviously, he is going to have some money out of pocket. Yeah. Um, the only thing I could criticize him about is that, you know, as soon as the forecast came out, 
an email should have went out. Yeah. If it's raining and you're planning on traveling to Long Beach to come to, to, to do this show, we might have to cancel. And that should have been there because, you know, people, you know, people are thinking, oh, it's still going to go on. You know, it's not going to rain on, it's not going to rain this Sunday. Yeah. It rained yesterday. It's going to be a nice day. And it was a nice day the following day. But in the same token, you got to look at it. Hey, you know, it's going to be slippery. It's going to be wet. You know, it's going to be a mess. Um, and people don't want to hear that. But if you would have diffused it prior is when, did, when? The forecast came out yeah. to say, hey, this show might get canceled. Mm -hmm. So don't travel if you know it's going to rain because they should have said, we're going to cancel the show. And that should have went out way earlier than what it did. Yeah. The, the thing is, so let's talk about real quick where the problem started to happen. It, it wasn't in the weather. It wasn't anything like that. I think the issue was that there was an unofficial yeah. image going around on Instagram posted by one specific individual who's a member of this group who said Ponies at the Pike has been postponed, right? Yes. But one individual from this group, he didn't, he, it's an individual with no authority, an individual with no power to make any sort of executive decisions within the group. So why did this individual go on to social media posting this image? I, I know that he meant well by posting it, but it ended up causing turmoil within our community because you just saw a bunch of people just flaming, dude. Yeah, right? I, kept, I kept seeing, oh, it's not canceled. Don't believe this. It's fake news. And people say, yeah, I know somebody. I know someone. -so. Because it was, yeah. it didn't, it didn't come the from the event planner. It didn't come from John. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it should have came from him. Email. Look, it's gonna get postponed. It should have been official. Yeah. I, I feel like had the email gone out and then he posted it, that would have been totally yes. fine. I think that would have been totally fine. Cause you could just tell, check your emails, it's in there. Like it's yeah. officially been postponed. The thing is he posted it hours before it was officially confirmed that it yeah. was postponed. Yeah. It was to the, I mean, it was to the point where people were just because that hype was there and everyone's freaking out over stuff. People were making stuff up, you know, saying, oh, I heard it from this guy. It's a, he said, she said thing. Yeah. It was to the point. Cause I mean, for us, Ponies at the Pike is a work day for us because we go and shoot the event. Uh, but we had to, we ended up calling uh, Eric, right? No, Eddie. Eddie. So I went ahead and called uh, Eddie, who's the vice president of that entire club, that organization that puts on the show. And I, I got the information from him. I called him at, it was about 1030 in the morning when I called him. He said, he did make it very clear that chances of postponing the show were growing more and more as time went on. Um, so we kind of already had a hunch that it might have been officially confirmed, but even then, himself, he told me, don't listen to anything on social media right now until you get the official email yeah. from John. And that's, it, that's where I think they should have posted something about it, because they knew that stuff was going on in social media, and they could have said, hey, you know what? We're in the process of figuring out what's gonna happen with the show. Don't listen to anything that's being posted, yeah. at least, because I understand what they were doing. They were out on the field, right, testing the grass, or looking at the grass, making sure they, chances they might be able to do that, they should have said that. Keep everybody updated instead of having everybody guess and everybody was fighting against each other, yeah. saying that you were right, you were wrong, you were right, you were wrong. And if they would have just said, hey, you know what, This I, we know something's going on on social media, don't listen to it yet, but just so you know, we are at the field, we are trying to see if we can get the show, um, if we can you know, have it still go on, we will update you shortly. Mm -hmm. Because they did give effort and you got to give them that credit. <coughs> I know they should have posted it sooner or whatever, but they were trying in my eyes to have the show. Yeah. And 100%. it just Absolutely. wasn't able to happen yeah. for, for safety reasons, which yeah. I agree with, yeah. but I just think the whole thing was kind of wrong from when they found out that it was going on on social media and from them being out there already, you know, testing, they could have updated everybody. So it wouldn't be a, a guessing yeah. game. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in my yeah. opinion, yeah. that's where it went wrong. They should have just pulled the trigger early. Yeah. They they should they should have pulled it early. They but like knew. I said, you can't blame them because no, I, no and I'm, you, we don't blame them. But they no, should. but I'm but I'm what I'm saying is you can't call it early because you have people traveling that are already here. You know what I'm saying? You can't. They were trying. You yeah, can't say on Friday, hey, you know what? Sorry, everybody who planned because you can't cancel airplane rides. You can't cancel hotel uh, stays. You can't. But you have to pay a fee, right? So. But honestly, when it rained like it did on Saturday. But when has you, it ever rained should, like that? You, I know, it but, so. but what I'm saying is when it rained like that, you should have known better. It's done. Should have went out. You know what? It's raining at 10. The email could have went out on Saturday night. 
hey, you know what? It's raining. It hasn't stopped. You know what? Let's the shows. We're gonna have to postpone. Yeah, and that's and another it, part of the problem and it, right and there. It, and it sucks, you know, for uh, uh, such a big event. You're not gonna make everybody happy. Yeah. Now, even if when the show does go on, there's people that yeah. complain and you know, keyboard warriors and oh, you know, it, it's just so many personalities that you have to please. It's not gonna happen. So they should have, in my in my eyes, they should have just said, look, we're gonna get backlash for this. No matter what, uh, let's do the right thing. We were ninety percent sure that this show's not going to go on. Let's just let's just cancel it. You know, let's let's just postpone it. Yeah. See, that's that's another problem right there. Is at eleven o'clock in the morning, the executive decision to cancel slash postpone the show was made. We didn't get the notification, the official email in our inboxes until about three thirty p.m. Exactly. Once they knew at eleven o'clock that the show was not gonna happen, we should have gotten an email no later than 11.05. Yeah. Why did it take them three, four hours to get to us with an official confirmation <laughs> the day before the show? I think why it took him so long is because of his defensive email. I think he probably rewrote that a few times throughout the couple hours, because that email, mm -hmm. I, I, I like that he was trying to be like, answer all the questions that I'm sure people were already gonna email him, but that whole email, was super defensive and I think that he pissed people off even yeah, more <laughs> because he didn't he didn't assume responsibility he said you know what look we apologize for the inconvenience he didn't say that matter of fact he still hasn't apologized for the inconvenience to a lot of people. I didn't register so I didn't get no email yeah. so. he still hasn't even apologized right instead he went on about you know you guys should have checked the weather you know common sense you know you guys should have you know this that the other no 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 it's not our responsibility to know or to should have this or that you know what well, you got to look at it this way so say if the show did go on and we did say you had common sense hey rain saturday there's no way this car show is going on and then they do have the car show and then half the people showed up and half the people you know they did it you know it's like you know you're damned if you do damned if you don't so it's it's one of those situations where you know you need someone to tell you who's in in charge and authority look it's gonna happen or it's not yeah. and that's it you know it, it and it's as harsh as, as it is that's reality hey the show's not gonna go on you know and that's where it should have been left right. and it should have been done early you know it sucked but I think I mean yeah no matter what the whole situation sucked it's just what's going on after this point that's like because there's now there's some drama on Facebook where people are, who were upset and had the right to be upset, but at the same time, he can't control the weather. Like, they went and from all the stories that everyone's getting, I can't confirm if it's true or not, the, a group of people went to go get their stuff because like their shirts and some food or whatever. Their goodie bags and yeah. dinner. Whatever before they went home. Which and was, what day did they have that, Saturday? Saturday? They did that Saturday. And, you know, they're posting online like, oh, he's a racist, that whole group of people are awful, don't go to the show. Like, listen, I, I don't, we weren't there at that situation, but like, you're a grown ass adult. If you, if you did say something that maybe made you upset, again, you're an adult. Just walk away from the situation. It sucked for everybody, you know? But at the same time, but at the same time they're patrons. You know, no, you don't go to a you no, don't go to a no, Nike store, no. right, <laughs> and buy a product that you're unsatisfied with, and you just you, you just settle with it. No, you usually complain, you fight back, you try to make it right for you. Yeah, but if Nike building caught fire and I couldn't go pick on my shoes, and I complained to Nike that of something that didn't they're out of control of. I'm sorry, your shoes burned down. I'm not gonna go online and be like, they were racist and I couldn't get my shoes. You know what I mean? Right, well that's that's kind of different though. No, it's not, it's the same damn thing. No, no, no. the accusations of the racism, I mean, like this completely match. different. Look, yeah, they're, sure. they're actually yeah, fighting. No, 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 we actually fought yeah. about this. I yeah. was like, cause I, I was- believe I, mean, it. I could, I could <laughs> feel it. <laughs> no, we, we were, we we were upset. Fought, we we, we actually did it. get into an you argument. You know what, sidebar though, I was actually, for me, it, it sucks that the show didn't go on, but secretly inside the, the, the evilness in me, <laughs> I was kind of, I was laughing. I was laughing inside at all the guys, you know, getting their cars ready, this and that, you know, I was like, you know, even I did, I mean, Max came over and washed my car on Saturday, you know, detailed it. It was even raining on Saturday when he was detailing the car, 
but you know we pulled it in the garage but secretly the evil side of me because i didn't have to travel you know That's but funny. and and not and i don't say it to the people that were traveling i say it to the local our local community the people that have been getting ready and gearing up for this for like months <laughs> just for this one day they didn't take their car out they didn't enjoy their car because they didn't want to get it dirty and now they didn't get to go to show us secretly laughing inside <laughs> you know that was kind of you know that was what? kind of funny you know what i was kind of disappointed the fact that everybody was here why couldn't we at least have a car meet or a meet and greet or meet the competition you know that you're gonna have you know when it gets they did though they offered Saturday. it on, yeah, Saturday. Yeah, they on Saturday. not the day of the show like everybody was waiting for the day yeah. of the show like on the day of the show we went to what supercar Sunday? you didn't go yeah. you were sick yeah you're you had a and i think a lot there. of that just i think a lot there. of that uh has to do with the venue no, but not, not at that venue, but I mean, Cars and Coffee, but saying, everybody but went to Cars and Coffee, right? No, no one went, went to Cars, cars and Coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, they could have gone yeah. to Cars and Coffee, right? But the thing is, and, and that's what, like, Squad Goals did. They try to, you know, accommodate some of the people that did travel and, and get the community together. Okay, no car show today, but let's go on a cruise. But that's what I'm saying. You we know? tried to do that as a yeah. car community, but I'm saying them as the host of that event, could have said, hey, in substitute of having this, we can have a meet and greet or a meet the comp. I would say meet, meet your competition because if I know you're going to be in the show, you're going to be in the show, I want to see what you have. So the next time we have the show, I'm going to add some stuff to my I car. I don't know because I think that whole day was stressful for them and the volunteers were out working on Saturday. No, they lost a lot. They they lost a lot. I mean, and they, they lost they lost money. They lost money even but if But you're going you're going to lose that no matter what. At least make the people happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At least let them know you fucking still care. Not just sorry show, the can, the show's canceled. Fuck do whatever the fuck you want. Go back home, do whatever you want. Drive mm -hmm. around LA. I just think that would have been something that wouldn't have cost anything cuz they wouldn't need a venue. It would have just costed them a couple of hours of their time the next day just to meet people. That's With it. So many pissed off people. It doesn't matter. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have done anything. Why? I would have backed off because well, look what happens. You fucking hide in the fucking closet and shit's just gonna be thrown at you. Even they more. did it though. Like they had that thing on Saturday and they had angry people screaming at them. Yes, but imagine on Sunday. That's, that's, it would have been it is, worse. Though, but, yeah. But you gotta understand, you're hold you're you're you should know the consequences of that when you're doing it. You know, if I wash a car and I don't do a good job, I should expect somebody to, t you know, talk shit to me or say, hey, you know what, you're not coming back no more. Because, you know, that's what I did. I knew I wasn't 100% cleaning the car. I knew I was skipping out on certain things. You know, that's, that's what I expect. But, like, when you host events like that, I, I just think not so you're, having you're something. So saying, you're saying to have, like, a consolation prize, right? Something else, but I I I'm not I, 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 I no see price. what you're saying. No, I know what you're saying. You're saying to maybe do something else yeah, to something accommodate. Small. But I I think I I'm gonna take their side. It's too many people, too many people to please, you, you and, and it's everybody. too and it's too late to get. I mean, how many cars were in that show? Like four, four, five hundred, five hundred, three hundred, whatever. You're 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 not gonna be able to. No place is gonna be able to hold all those vehicles. It's just gonna be a clusterfuck. You I, know? Um, no. uh, I think the only thing he needs to do is actually apologize. And again, we I think we all know it wasn't his fault. It rained. He doesn't control the weather, but he needs to just apologize. Whether it was his fault or not, just say, hey, you know what? I'm actually really sorry that people who drove out here or flew out here or whatever, I'm sorry that this happened. You know, we're working hard to try and make this a better experience, grow from this experience, and then just leave it at that. But not be defensive that's, or that's, try and give that's, excuses. That's his issue. Stuff. And that's why I think I feel more for the people who did travel is because, you know, I've met John. I respect John and, and I love what he's trying to do for us as a Mustang community as a whole, 100%. But what I'm not okay with is how he's been responding to people's Facebook comments, how he's been responding to us via the emails. He's been very defensive. Yeah. He's coming off as very hostile, which is one thing that people are blaming him for. So when he comes off as very hostile in a Facebook response uh, to somebody who's accusing him of being hostile, it's solidifying what they're saying about him. You know, so, so stop replying to people on Facebook. Simply, I mean, it might even be too late at this point. Take the higher road. Just, I, yeah, I yeah just it, just yeah you just take the higher be. road and yeah. you know it's just you know like for us i mean i don't even remember what i paid for registration or whatever but 
it, it's not a lot of money for us, you know, whatever. It's it's a car show and whatever happens, we'll see what happens with, if there's another date or, or it gets refunded or whatever. But, you know, it just, it, it just kind of sucks for those diehard car enthusiasts that did travel. And, but there's, some of these people came out a week early. So, you know, no one knew it was going to rain on Saturday. So, it, you know, it, it sucks, you know, and yeah. it just, it sucks. You know, people, some, that's their vacation time, you know? No, it sucks. And, and obviously, BCMC and John, we're not expecting them to refund people for their hotels. Yeah. And, and when I, when I, what, where I'm at is I think at the very least, we did have a lot of people from out of town, but I promise you, they don't outnumber the locals. Yeah. So spend a little bit of time, look at the people who are from out of town. If they can come back for the postponement date, they can come back, fine, fuck it. But those who can't come back, try to do your best to give them their refund back, opening more spaces for the postponement date so that more locals or more people who didn't make it to the first registration time can come and fill in those open spots. Yeah, because there was a lot of people that were like, damn, Don't I Don't do anything until the permits go through. Because even if it's, think about this, your guys' registration was 60 to $100, yeah. okay? If there's 300, so not 300, sorry, 30, 40 people that came out of town and they all did the $100 package, that's three, $4,000 he paid out of his pocket, he paid for the venue. Right, but why should those people who are no longer getting a show be held responsible for that? You signed the thing. It said you don't get your money back off after yeah, August Yeah, but that 15th. was under the promise that they were going to get a show. They are getting, getting a show. show. No. It's just postponed. Not pumps. those individuals. They're getting a show. Not those individuals. Because maybe they can't come to the next day. Exactly. That's because, not his fault. You yeah. signed I just think there's a way to figure it out. For, I think you have a good point. They're going to lose that money, but they're going to get it back when somebody else registers. Yeah, no. I, I think... That's what he's saying. He's not no. saying just... Screw, screw the yes, guy. Yes, but he can't. He can't do it right now until there's the permits go no, through. No, no, he, he can't do it right now. He's just saying what, they haven't even announced the date. You don't even know. That's all yeah, I'm saying. I'm not saying, saying do it right now. I'm saying consider it when you find a date. Like you said, those people that can't make it, that confirm they can't make it. All right, cool. Let's refund your money. Okay, guess what, guys? Now we have openings because I know there's a lot of people that wanted to go that didn't sign up in time. I mean, you're gonna make your money back. The, the situation is very uh, volatile, and. Us four in this garage, as you can see, we still can't come to an agreement. Yeah. <laughs> so, How do Mr. We thousands Mr. Of uh, Ponies of the Pike guy, I feel for you. Yeah, it's a all, sucky we situation. Feel bad. I feel bad for him. And, uh, you know, You're never just like I this. said, there's four of us in here, and uh, We're all it's right going to be a, uh, you know, you can't please everybody. So, but yep. it just, it does suck. But, you know, so hopefully. Hopefully we get another date and it doesn't rain on that date yeah. or something else with Mother Nature yeah. happen. Mother Nature? Mo Mother Nature. <laughs>